hey guys hey guys welcome to the stream so with another episode 2 rdr2 role play
Mr. Morgan. <laughs> Herr Strauss. How are you? About... About how I look. Okay. Uh, are you, um... Are you perhaps available for some work? Debtors? Yes. I guess. Your commitment to your duties is admirable. <coughs> you know, Mr. Morgan, you're... Your... Well, well, I'm sorry, sorry for you. Me. No, never mind. I didn't... Look, Strauss. You take care. I ain't dead yet. No, of course not. That's what I was saying. I... Uh, I... A debtor, Strauss. Who owes you money? Well, uh, there's a deserter from Fort Wallace. Head to him first. They're looking for him out on the road near Three Sisters. Man's name is J. John Weathers. J. John Weathers. Then there's a miner over in Annisburg. He's called... Well, he's called Arthur. <laughs> like you. Mm. <laughs> Arthur London. Family man. But desperate. this. You know the type. My first streamer on my tried. They lacked your figure. Figure. Huh? All right. Uh, take care, uh, uh, Mr. Morgan. Hey Pratish, if you hear me, please type on comment and chat. Dear sir, you were Hello, once very Pratish. kind to Bo and myself, and it pains me to chat. ask you to show us further kindness. But I have nowhere else to turn, and nobody else upon whom I can impose. I will, of course, pay you handsomely for your troubles. My family have turned quite mad and are threatening to send me away to stop my work, which they say is disgraceful. So now you are my first live streamer. Moral depravity, utter debauchery, Thank and you so much, bro. drunkenness did not disgrace them enough. I must escape, yet I am kept prisoner here. Can you help? Most days I am to be found at the cabins on the plantation. The main house and all it stood for are thankfully no more. Yours faithfully. Three times. Seriously, Macha. I still don't know where I can be. Okay, so much better. I am uploading this. I am uploading later, not now. After my live stream.
Yeah, you, we can able to see the chats also. So be careful, huh? J. John Weathers. They call me Snow Goose now. Whatever they call you. You borrowed money off of Leopold Strauss. The bills come due. This ain't the best time, sir. This ain't the best time for anyone. Mr. Strauss knew it was a long-term proposition. The debt is due. Okay. I got supplies meant to last through the winter. You can take them just... Is there any way you can help me? I stay out here, there won't be anyone to pay you. I ain't here to help. I'm here to collect. We're all, all of us up against it. Look, there's men after me. <laughs> They're killers. I ain't a deserter, just an objector. It ain't right. If there was another way than running, I need your help. Shut up. Please. I... Up here, it's him. It's too late. Form up, we shoot on sight. I clear off, sir. Shit. Well, seeing as I'm here, 
May as well protect the payment. Probably still save something. Really now? Look, you can take the silver locket for the debt. Fine. Now, go. Get her somewhere safe. Go on. Thank you, fella. I don't know where we can go, but I'll try. Pray for us. We're past praying. Can you help? Sir! Can you help me, mister? What's the problem? My goddamn horse got spooked and run off. Are you hurt? Not too bad, at least. But he took my damn leg. Sorry. He went that way, I think. His name's Buell. Buell? Second time a prick named Buell cost me a leg. Huh? Buell was my general when I lost it. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, if you see an angry bastard of a horse with my wooden leg, I'd be real grateful. I'll bear that in mind.
Whoa, whoa, easy. Shit, spooked all right. Settle down, boy. Whoa, now, easy, easy. This way. Come on. Get you back. Uh, he's just where you left him. Can't go far with that leg in your stirrup. Can't go bucking him like that. So you better be good, you hear? I get the notion he's not a man you want to cross. No matter how big and strong you are. Spook you here. Come on. You're not so nasty. I found him. You're a good man, mister. Mr. Arthur. You're right. He's a brute. <sighs> Hamish Sinclair. Yeah, he's a great horse, aside from when the devil got him. Hey, you wanna hand me that leg there, please? And while you're at it, give old Buell a kick for me, would you? No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Were him but a snake that spooked him. <laughs> you're a real gentleman, you know? Sometimes, maybe. Yeah, how'd you lose a leg? Oh, in the war. Cannonball. Pretty clean, though. I don't have much pain, and I didn't get any gangrene. Young boy went into battle with me, got cut in half, so all things considered, I'm doing pretty well, I guess. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, how is the false one? It's okay. I can still hunt, fish, enjoy the outside. I weren't sent too crazy by it. Anyway, I ain't got much to pay you with. You know, that's okay. You like fishing? You come with me someday. I know some pretty good spots. Uh, I'm a pretty poor fisherman. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm great. So between the two of us, we do okay. My cabin is right over on the other side of O'Cray's run there. Thanks again. You throw me again, you old dumb bastard. I'm gonna put a bullet in you. I'll see you again.
You got any business at the mine? I'm looking for an Arthur Londonderry. I was told he works here. Londonderry? Oh, you'll want to speak to the foreman. He's down in the pit. Hello, mister. What are you, pal? Got your hands full there. Hey, it's never done. Hey, partner. Hello. Open your eyes, fool. Well, pardon me. Arthur London there. Fear? I'm sorry, feller, but you're too late. Arthur's dead. <laughs> the man's dead? What's wrong with you? Oh, boy. You can't exactly beat it out of him now, can you? <laughs> You might get something off his widow just across from Butcher's Creek, but I'd hurry. You ain't gonna be the only one a-knockin'. <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Hey, I ain't the godforsaken moneylender. I don't want you shopping for customers, money lender.
down, mister. It'll be an adventure. I don't want to <coughs> I want my dad. Uh, Mrs. Londonderry. <coughs> Off his dead. I know. Uh, I'm sorry for it. It's just... We lent Arthur some money, you see, and... So it was you. You son of a bitch. What do you want now? You want my boy's shoes? You want the food out of our bellies? What little there is? You want me to lie down for you? No, no. I... Arthur gave everything to pay your bills. Everything. And now there's some fellas coming to take the house. There ain't nothing left, mister. I guess I was just coming to say that the debt's canceled. That's it. Good luck, ma'am. Well, thank you. I just wish you'd done it before he worked himself into the grave. But you know, maybe you and your friend that lent him the money could do things differently, like not threaten a man. 
Excuse me. I'm sorry, ma'am. I really am. How did you get on, Mr. Morgan? Just Danny. Hmm. Just... Get up. What? Get up! What? What is wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing at all. What are you doing? Getting rid of you. Your time wasting, Maggie. Uh, get your bag. I don't understand. Just I... get out of my sight. Waste my time, you depress me, and you're a parasite, sending me after losers like that. Yeah, that should do. You're an embarrassment. What are you doing? We have a partner. Yeah. Business partners. Go get a new partner. You know, they, they say the sick delude themselves. I was, I was your comrade. My comrade? <laughs> you're a creep. Creep in a parasite, any time waster. Now, take that. Take that, and don't annoy me. I'm leaving. Morning. Making it through this. Morning, Arthur. Don't you give me that look. So just like that, Strauss is gone? For his own good. This is done, Abigail. Well, try to keep your head straight. I guess.
Problem, partner. You don't, uh, you don't look so good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. And I inside you ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Michael reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in San Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Uh, Maybe time for folks like us has passed. We don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. The way I see it, the best thing we can do is let the week go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen, and fast. Otherwise, Cornwall, them Pinkertons, they've got us penned in here, and ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. <laughs> we need money. But revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid. Revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur. It's just a simple social call. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, what are we gonna say to him that needs to be said? He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason. That Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, it's his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil, his law. These are wrongs that you can't write, Dutch. We're wanted men. Hmm. So why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur, and I want out, and he... he won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone. Cornwall's boat is due in soon. Let's get down here behind these crates.
want to thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency, and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here. And leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Didsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement. And I intend to make it a success, no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir. Not two figs. It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing. <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. You lost your land! Noise, Arthur! No voice! Let's go! 
Okay. Interesting social call. Oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch, it won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the Army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike, you look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess, Arthur. You go, too. We are gonna need a lot of it. And, Mike, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. This is crazy.
master. I just don't want him to see me. We're not friends anymore. We're not. They won't forgive you. Uh-uh. They, they, they didn't forgive me. There is no forgiveness. None, friend. None. I, I know you want it. I can smell it on you. <laughs> well, it ain't happening. No, 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 it isn't. <laughs> that's why, that, that, that's why uh, I'm out here well away from them. See, they come for me, but I'm watching. <laughs> I, I never sleep. No. I never do. Easy now, partner. Really? No. I'm scared, Miss Grimshaw. Feels like... It feels like now... Back oh, I ain't never normally scared, but it feels like now it's only a matter of time. It'll be okay, miss. You sure? No. But I'm sure you'll be okay. And I'm also sure that... Well... Hi, Arthur. <coughs> Reverend? <coughs> you okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself, somehow. I, I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Arthur, I'm in Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. New York. We are going to go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're going to get a boat. We're going to get on a river, and we're going to go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion and then we disappear we need more commotion one score and one whole hell of a lot of noise are you feeling all right arthur sure i'm fine pardon me for interrupting i brought a friend arthur hello hello dutch this is eagle flies his father is a great chief Charles and I, we, um... Pretended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderlyn. How do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father has confused wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much. Been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. Men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Yeah, Arthur.
that we must go with them and try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. Come along. We can get them more horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping them up into a frenzy. Got enough folks coming after us without adding an army to the list. Thank you, Chris. You going to let these bastards walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done without killing anyone. Of course. What will be will be. Anyway, son, tell me about this. This ends today. You have my word on that. Involved in this, Dutch. You know me. We shoot fellers as need shooting. We save fellers as need saving. Feed them as need feeding. Not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves, and even you know that. I told you, noise. We need noise, Arthur. Noise and faith. I still don't know what that means. Stop questioning and think, just think. Second, the Pinkertons have had time to reinforce the civilized closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between the army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. Kill two birds with one stone. Cornwall was funding the Pinkerton's assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with them? Cornwall gone. The government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. And then we can slip away. Like I said, we just need that noise and one more support. You know, I went back for the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell, and we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the army, it was all in those papers Micah found. 
I have a plan. You just have to trust me. There's Peta. These men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Let's wait until nightfall. All right. We can set out. I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, board her. Then when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor, float away. <laughs> we'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. Easy. They're gonna hear us. Good luck. Try not to kill anyone on time. Confused. We need to round them up. I'll get these four, Arthur. Can you go after the others? Okay.
Seems like Uncle Sam likes you fellas even less than he likes us. So it goes. My father doesn't want to fight again. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur... W oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we gonna wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Combe. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. Your father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, Captain. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rangeful. Yes. Would you? Sure. Oh. I'll speak with him. You head on back to camp, check on the others, touch his behaviors. I understand. Thank you, Arthur. So okay guys that's it for today episode 2 is completing and we are ending the stream for the today now thank you guys hope you enjoy the stream now